connection between poverty and a low level of education? Um, what are some of my challenges just to get through the day, to get through the week, to get to school every day, to do the things that I really do want to do? What are some of the impacts of poverty? Or what does poverty look like if I'm a single mom who didn't finish high school? To start off with, I want you to take one card and think through, um, imagine that I'm a single mom, I left school when I was 16, so I didn't finish high school, I finished grade 8, um, and I, I work in a call center, I have a pretty low income, I'm living on minimum wage. Um, and what kind of, what are some of the challenges that I face on a day-to-day -day basis? What are some of my challenges? And on your card, just write one challenge. <laughs> and now for the fun part, I'm going to divide you, quite randomly by counting, uh, into four groups, and you're going to do four different brainstorming activities, and then you're going to report back. Um, so group one is going to get a few cards, a few of these cards, and their job is to draw a picture, without using letters, a picture that represents the challenges that they get, somehow. Group two will use a polarity thinking exercise, where they're taking, they'll get some cards as well, and they have to think of the opposite, and sort of keep going, what's the opposite of that, and what's the opposite of that. Transportation was the main thing we sort of worked around. Um, so what if this person doesn't have um, a car? So maybe they might go to public transit. Um, what if they can afford to pay for public transit, but they're close enough to work that they can commute? So they'll walk. So, but walking takes time. Ideally, excellent daycare close to your home. Um, the opposite would be it's an hour away on the bus with your stroller and rush hour. Um, and then we went to the finding the motivation to keep going. So best case scenario, you have lots of support, tons of resources, right? You're, you're a really well taken care of person. Um, opposite would be isolation with no accessible resources in your neighborhood. Um, you could be involved in extracurricular activities, so having you know, sports, hobbies, good social life to kind of keep you motivated to do the hard work you have to do versus having no time or money to do anything but scrape by. And then there's also the availability of affordable housing and affording the necessities or your basic needs. So can you pay your hydro bill and still put food on the table? Or can you pay your rent, your hydro bill, and put food on the table? And again, you've got to prioritize, you know, can, are you going to go without heat or are you going to eat? And actually, that one makes me think of that commercial on TV where the girl opens the soup can and the roof of her house comes off. And, and it's, it's a reality for so many people. It's off the steam in the middle because all of those things and all of those factors are going to affect how we feel about ourselves or how this individual um, would feel about herself and affect their confidence, right? And then from that, we started, we started to list some of these things, although they all fell under money and finances, right? So you're paying for your rent, you're paying for food, and paying your bills. Any of these challenges seem familiar for people in your program? Mm -hmm. Transportation, I think, is a big one for lots of people. Yeah. Especially in Saskatchewan, we don't have subways. Um, we have, no, yeah, <laughs> shocker, hey.